You know, being a Red Sox fan means you know a lot about Boston baseball history, and this guy's passing on November 2nd wasn't really publicized too much, but for the Boston faithful, it was a sad, sad day because he meant a lot <coughs> to uh, Bo Sox uh, nation. Now, today we're talking about the very talented Dick Drago. Now, Richard Anthony uh, Drago, born in Toledo, was an American relief pitcher in MLB who played for Kansas City, Boston, California, the Orioles, and the Mariners. He batted in true right-handed. Now, he started his career by playing high school ball for Woodward High School in Toledo, graduating in 1963. Well known for his myriad of pitches and uh, a very, very solid uh, starter and reliever when asked upon. He would do any job that was uh, asked. He broke in with the Royals in their uh, rookie campaign in 1969, an original Royal, a very, very tremendous win-loss record as a player, 108 to 117. 3.62 3.62 average and an impressive 987 strikeouts. Now, when he was originally signed by the Tigers in the 64 amateur dra- draft, he eventually found his way to the Royals in the 68 expansion draft and, and became the ace of their uh, staff well before uh, the key years of Kansas City in the mid 90s, excuse me, mid 70s and late 70s. He went 17, 11, and 71 with a 2.998 earn run average. Now, he uh, he ended fifth in the Yale Cy Young Award uh, that year uh, race uh, behind Vida Blue, Mickey Lolich, Wilbur Wood, and Dave McNally. Finishing with a 3.01 ERA in 72, Drago went 12 and 17, but declined uh, with 12 and 14 and 4.23 and 73. He was eventually traded by the Royals and the Red Sox for Marty Patton on October 24th, 73, just after the end of that campaign. He also pitched for the Angels and the Orioles in parts of three seasons. He had been acquired by the Orioles from the Angels for Dyer Miller on June 13, 77. When he filed for free agency after his loan season with the Orioles, he eventually returned to Boston after signing with the Red Sox on November 21, 1977. During his last three years with the Red Sox, primarily as a reliever, he saved 13 games with a 10-6 record in 79. He's entered his major league career with Seattle in 1981. Now, ironically, on July 20th, 1976, he gave up the last of Hank Aaron's then major league record, 755 career home runs, in a 13-season career again. He had 519 appearances, 189 as a starter, with 58 saves. Now, uh, he's passing on November 2nd in Florida at age of 78. And the Red Sox and the Royals, uh, again, faithful, shared the condolences through various posts on their social media accounts. Now, what stood out for me for uh, for Drago uh, was the, ironically, he had some of the best baseball card uh, cards of the era. Uh, every pack that you got, uh, he stood out because a very handsome man and a very, very determined look on his face and a tremendous mustache, sort of like a like a Tom Selleck uh, style. So, uh, again, it's all about what you do while you're there. Kansas City in 69, 11 and 13, then 9 and 15, 17 and 11, 12 and 17, and 12 and 14, 7 and 10 uh, with the uh, uh, the Red Sox uh, with three saves, uh, the main reliever in that uh, Magic 75 season, 2 and 2 with 15 saves, uh, with California, 7 and 8 and 6 saves, uh, uh, in that campaign, 77 split time with California and Baltimore, five saves and six and four. Back to Boston, four and four with seven saves in 78, and 10 and six in uh, 13 saves in 79. 1980, seven and seven with three saves, uh, and um, 81, four and six with uh, five, five saves. And again, uh, interesting Kansas City record. He was among uh, team leaders until he left in wins, 61 and 70. Uh, but his numbers in Boston to me are the most impressive. 30 and 29, 3.55, 41 uh, saves. So a tremendous like middle reliever. Uh, you look at Tor- Tor- uh, Toronto with our Icorn and Hanky and all that. But Drago, like I said, not overpowering, but uh, a very, very good solid reliever and a solid start. He did everything that he was asked of, especially with Kansas City and Boston. So for you out there, and there's a lot of you who are fans of Dick Drago, Sorry for your loss. If you like what we're doing here with our Vintage Baseball Podcast, 
let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And don't forget, uh, uh, we try to talk about players either when they're still living or they just recently pass on as a tribute to you, the fans. When you come in the channel or see our podcast, we want to give you the best uh interpretation of what their career meant to you and to baseball as a whole and dick drago meant a lot to a lot of people because again those early years in kansas city he was more than the hometown hero he was literally the key guy in key situations and the george brett royals of the mid 70s onward were built by drago and the other pitching staff uh, of those early years you would not have the kansas city royals of all those title wins towards 85 without people like Dick Drago. So, Dick, uh, we're going to miss your brother. And uh, don't forget, we love your baseball cards. If you're looking from heaven, you had some of the best. Have a good one. Bye.